Hey everybody, happy holidays. It's Tony Robbins. And Sage Robbins. Hello everybody, it's beautiful to be with you. Listen, we want to stop by for a couple minutes with you and just give you a couple pointers here on how to really end your year and begin your new year if you're interested. I hope you've received our emails. You know, the theme this year had threefold. It was number one, find the blessing. Mm -hmm. And that sounds corny to some people, but you know, when you think about your life these last three or four years with COVID and so much fear and crime and everything that you, if you watch the news for five minutes, you feel like there is no future. It's not to say there aren't challenges out there, they're real, but we don't experience life. We experience mm -hmm. the life we focus on. What's wrong is always available. Mm -hmm. So is what's right. And so it's really important to find the blessing and whatever challenges you've gone through. I know many of you went through COVID, it was pretty horrific, but many of you actually found a way to use COVID to do something greater with your family or your mm -hmm. life or make some career changes or life changes. And so life is gonna give us challenges no matter what, but it's our job to find the blessing, to see that maybe everything in life is really happening for us, yes. not to us, even though it looks like that. And so we, we sent you a little video of our friend Madhu to give you an example mm -hmm. of somebody finding those blessings. And then the second part was to really be a blessing. Yes, absolutely. And you know, it's funny sometimes because a lot of times, um, you know, we as human beings, when we consider being a blessing, uh, you know, we can get caught up in our mind. It's like, oh my gosh, am I a blessing? It's, it's like, is that only for Mother Teresa? Uh, but we underestimate the power of kindness. We underestimate the power of actually just the consideration of whether you're checking out, maybe you're at Whole Foods or at a store of actually, how are you? You know, it's nice to see you. Real presence. Some, yes, presence and a connectedness with whoever uh, life blesses us with or whoever we pass by. And uh, whether you're going to a holiday party or for New Year's, just know that your essence, your radiance, the isness that you are to offer that. Sometimes we can all get caught up in kind of small chat and uh, it's beautiful to be able to connect to life around us and recognize that our, um, our heart, our love, our care, uh, our connectedness, our presence truly can penetrate another. We have no clue what another individual is going through. We have no clue who we pass by at a restaurant or who's ever serving you, what they're experiencing. And so just know that your consideration, your kindness uh, and allowing that to flow, it's the greatest power and gift that we can offer. We often say, you know, the secret to living is giving, but it's not just gifts, it's yes. presence, it's caring, it's kindness. As simple as those things are, they also change you. Mm -hmm. um, when you get in the habit of doing that, because it's our nature, when we're not stressed, yes, you, you all of a sudden find a balance, you find a balm within yourself, mm -hmm. as well as you're being a balm to other people. Yes. So uh, we also sent you a video, I hope you saw it in our second email that we sent to you, because it's also about taking what life gives you and finding a way to use it to be mm -hmm. a blessing to others. And Mo lost his son, who was yes. incredibly close to. He was head of Google X, he had everything, quote unquote, and then he loses his son. But he's used that now to set the goal to help a billion people be happier. <laughs> and he does an amazing job. He's so if you haven't beautiful. watched the video, I hope you'll, you'll do that. And then the third one is what this little session is really about is, you know, if you constantly find the blessings in life, you look for what's right instead of what's wrong. If, mm. if you're constantly trying to be a blessing to other people, then you'll be blessed. And that's not corny, it's just, it's the law of reciprocation. In life, we all get what we put out, and often tenfold, yeah. and it can happen either way, negative or positive. So it's part of our life is to really, it's not even about religion, it's about grace. It's mm. understanding that, you know, grace will flow to you if you are pouring out grace to others, if yeah. you're constantly giving and sharing. And so we know you know these things, they're not new to say the least, mm. but this time of the year is a great time of the year to reinforce them in yourself, and maybe with your children or your family. And then last thing we want to tell you is that we have a process we do every year and it's so valuable and so much fun. And so we just want to point it out to you so you can consider doing it as well. The first thing we do always is mm -hmm. we make a slideshow for the year. We yeah. have them for the last 10 plus years and we go back and we can see these. So you go and, you know, today, these days, if you have Apple or anybody else, you know, all your pictures are within a month. And so we look at all the pictures and it helps us remember what happened. Because yeah. like this year, for example, almost, you know, the first three months of the year, we you know worked after three years of doing Life Force, my new book, and that seems, seems like a dream, like a long time ago. So it's like reigniting the magic of those moments by seeing it, adding some music, and we really encourage you to do it. It's so easy to do these days. But then the second thing we do is having watched that you know month by month, and you're remembering what you were going through and what you were experiencing, and what we laughed about was challenging. <laughs> then we journal. And we write down everything, like each month, what were the biggest accomplishments and small ones too. 
we write down, you know, what were the magic moments? Yeah. You know, little things, things that made us laugh or things that were just cherished, our daughter's first steps, you know, whatever it is. So we remember and relive those experiences because life isn't just about the accomplishments, it's about those moments. And then thirdly, we look and say, what were the challenges? What were the lessons? What did we learn? And we do that for the whole year. Mm. And it takes a little time. We do it usually on New Year's or the night before. New Year's Eve, usually. Yeah, yeah, usually. And we usually also, you know, we'll score it with music. It's very While intentional. We're doing it. yeah. uh, we'll light candles and, uh, and just flow. You know, we'll use photos as a guide or a calendar as a guide. But, you know, mine can many times uh, innocently focus. You think of the last year and it's like, oh gosh, it was such a stressful year. It was so this. But it's an opportunity to lean in more and to find the gifts, to find the beauty, to connect to the miracles that life has offered you over this last year. And if there was something that was challenging or something that you've gone through that was painful, uh, connecting to your own evolution, your own growth, what was a gift in that? There's always you That's know, looking back a lot of times, sweet medicine in those moments that sometimes strip us or humble us or take us to our knees. And, um, and then just capturing all, as Tony had mentioned, just the beauty, the beauty of uh, the laughter, the beauty of the sharing, of the celebrating, of yeah. just living life. Life is so full and it's a time for us anyways of just really deep reflection. We also write, uh, what do we want to let go of? Yes. You know, um, what out of the experiences, it's just, you know, what am I surrendering? What did I surrender this year? What did I let go of? What no longer serves anymore? And uh, we write a list of that as well. It's so incredibly, and then we, burn it. <laughs> we do, we do, we, a we, we, we do. burn it, we put it in the fireplace and we say a prayer, we give thanks for just yeah. it all, for yeah. just the sheer gift of being alive, never, buying, never mind being blessed with a gift of another year. Um, and so it's very, it's an intentional way to go into the new year. It's one of my favorite days of the year because it's just very intimate in the sharing and it's a different pace and a different cadence because you're focusing on, you know, just the, the miracles. And a lot and of times when life gets so full, we can miss that. And oftentimes things are not only full, but that becomes a blur. And then now yes. you're off to the next thing. And unless you stop and cherish and really take moments mm -hmm. like that, your memories, you know, there's the experience of life and then there's the mem remembering self. There was a gentleman that won a Nobel Prize for this. And it's like someone can go to a concert and it was the most amazing concert and then somebody drops some dishes in the middle and everybody looks and then people, many people, their memory of the concert will be that. Yes. As opposed to the experience of the concert, you know, for an hour and a half or two hours was magnificent. That's the way the mind works. And mm -hmm. so this is a way to kind of go beyond the mind back to the heart and the soul. And then finally, we want you to set yourself up for 2023. Yeah. And most people, you know, don't even do them anymore, but people do resolutions and you know, all the statistics show 90% of people violated those within the first three weeks of January. And the reason is it's not really a resolution. What they're doing is they're stating preferences, but they have no plan. They don't know their why. It's not strong enough to push them through the difficult times. So you really wanna know what you want and why you want it. And you gotta have a bit of a plan to make that work. But oftentimes what'll help people and what we encourage people to do is to actually sit down and say, what's in my life today that once was a dream or a goal that seemed impossible? Mm. I'm sure there's some things in your life today, whether it's a relationship or your business or career or economic, something that once seemed impossible and now it's in your life. And we say, well, how did you make that happen? What was the first step? And it's kind of look at it and you'll discover that you start to give it an immense amount of focus because whatever you focus on, focus goes, energy flows. And then you begin to probably take some strategic action and then there's the, the flow of grace that happens if you keep changing your approach until you get there. Um, and so to help you this year, uh, three years ago, or I guess 2020, when everybody was starting to get locked down and we were worried about people because we couldn't do our events, you know, yeah. 15,000 person event and they come and tell us we could put 100 people in the stadium. So we said, you know, let's reach out to people and let's actually do a seminar. First we said, well, let's just do like a two or three hour free seminar for everybody. So, because what gets in the way is travel and money and, and you know, all those types of things. No, no travel, no money. Let's just deliver for people. And then I got more excited about it. I said, well, let's do two days. And we ended up doing a five day challenge. <laughs> and we've done it now for three years in a row. And we've had over a million people in each yeah. one of them to give you an idea from all over the world, all these countries. So we're going to do one more this year, finally. And it's the only time we do this for free. It's five days. It's January 24th through the 28th. And you can attend at absolutely no charge. It's not partially free. It's totally free. And it's an experience where we, for about two hours a day, I go sometimes two and a half. We do it together mm -hmm. as we well. Do. 
and we cover all the areas that matter so you can have a real 2023, not hoping for a great 2023, or not feeling stressed about all the things in your life by getting clear of like, what do we gotta do with your energy physically? With low energy, you're not gonna have a passionate relationship. With low energy, you're not gonna be a great parent. It might be a good one, but not a great one. With low energy, you're not gonna build your career or your business. So what do we do? What do we do with the emotions that are gonna get you there? Because if the primary emotions in your life start to become gratitude or passion or decisiveness or playfulness or connection, that's very different than if the habits you've developed emotionally are to feel frustrated and overwhelmed and stressed. And so we're gonna show you how to change that in your body. And we have a session on that that's really, really cool, you really enjoy. But then we go to all the years of your life, your relationship, how to create one, or if you're already there, how to reignite that passion and aliveness. What are you gonna do with your finances? We all know that it's gonna probably get worse before it gets better. There's gonna be more inflation. So what are we gonna do? And what are you gonna do for your business or your career? So we do it for five days, a couple hours a day, and uh, it's an experience, I promise you, you'll never forget. And again, there's no charge. So if you'd like to join us, just go right away to becomeunshakable.com, becomeunshakable.com. Get yourself registered. You can go with your family or your friends. You can do it from your house or your office with other people. And it's called Become Unshakable because we all know people that in the middle, all heck is breaking loose. And it's not like they're fearless, but they're really unshakable. It's like, you know, they find their center and they figure out how to take advantage of even the challenging times. Mm. And that's really what you'll walk out with after the end of the five days. So, and you'll be part of a community from people all over the world. I think that's what's so extraordinary. It's, it's a week that we really look forward to every year. And it's intimate because there's just all these hungry souls and human beings like yourself from all around the world. And, you know, we all meet in this human experience called life. And as Tony shared, just to collectively all go through this experience at the beginning of this event, um, this challenge coming through, you know, for five days and uh, being clear and, and pushing through and connecting to other people that are navigating the same life experiences that you are. It's profound. It's beautiful. It's intimate. And uh, we invite you to please join us. And we look forward to serving you. And the, the stories that have come out of it, we had a man, I think it was a year, the yes. second year we did this, who was 700 pounds, could never come to a seminar. He's literally been in bed for years in mm. this one room, never left the bed. And he ended up losing, he did three, he did weights in the bed, started with like a little pole and built up, mm -hmm. got out of the bed, lost 300 plus pounds, got you know engaged, actually came to Unleash Power Within, walked on fire with us. So there's some great people and stories that will inspire you. So I don't care if you're in a really tough time yes. or you're doing good and you just want to do better. We'd really love to serve you. So that's our gift to you for the new year. Yes. Come join us, becomeunshakable.com. And please take time to, to take in, the, you know, find the blessings, be the blessing and enjoy the blessings that you are. Take a little time to do a little inventory and create a little re recap of your year. Yes. And then we'll look forward to helping you set up 2023 to be the best year ever. All right. Thanks so much. Sending you lots of blessings for you and your family. Hope you enjoy the holiday together. And it's just such a profound um, remembrance that we are indeed the co-creator of our existence. And so coming together in that collective field with beautiful souls and human beings from all around the world. We look forward to being with you uh, here in January. I think it's uh, January 24th through the 28th. That's right. Uh, until then, God bless and we look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Becomeunshakable.com. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.